2022 is is our year. Of course, I'm a long-term holder. I believe really in the value of holding and selling to a producer, which is our exit strategy. So for me, that's what I'm waiting for. Joining us for a conversation is Judson Coulter, the CEO of Rover Metals. Mr. Coulter, welcome to the show, sir. Hey, thanks, Maurice. Uh, how are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing excellent, sir. It's a great time to be speaking with you as Rover Metals has just released some exciting exploration news coming from the Cabin Gold Project in the Northwest Territories of Canada. Before we begin, Mr. Coulter, please introduce us to Rover Metals and the unique opportunity the company presents to shareholders. Yeah, we're, uh, we're a gold exploration company still at the resource defi definition uh, sort of phase of our, of our company. Um, we do have a, a proven team of producers as well, but right now the focus is developing a uh, mine life out of one of our several gold assets. And we're currently focused on developing our projects in the Northwest Territories of Canada. So that's, uh, if you're looking on a map, uh, the 60th parallel, so up north. Let's get right to it. Mr. Coulter, take us to the Northwest Territories and onto the flagship Cabin Gold Project and reacquaint us with the Cabin Gold Project. Yeah, the Cabin Gold Project is, you know, in an area where there's an endowment of gold. Uh, currently, they're within 120 square kilometers. There's uh, 7.2 million ounces of gold sitting in our competitors as a as a bankable gold resource. Uh, so we're in a great jurisdiction. Um, our project itself, we bought this asset, the Cabin Gold Project. It had a historical resource of. 85,000 ounces, and that was spread across several uh, very prospective targets on the property. Uh, the property itself is about a thousand hectares in size. So, you know, there was a, a lot when we got started, there was a lot of prospectivity in terms of these targets being open to depth, open along strike at surface, so cheap to explore and understand. So, you know, that's where the project started, uh, you know, three years ago. Um, and, you know, we we're really excited about having spent about three million in expiration dollars now on the project and announcing, you know, again today, the big news is uh, delineation and really discovery uh, of a second, what we believe, ore shoot. Uh, and now we've got two of them. And, uh, you know, that was really the goal for this year. Um, and I think uh, the market will see a third here in the coming weeks as well as we head into, um, you know, a resource definition drilling in Q1 of next year. Well, speaking of one of those zones, you're speaking of the Beaver Zone. As uh, Rover Metals just announced infill and delineation as the company reported multiple near-surface intercepts of economic gold grades. From a macro perspective, what were the results from the second phase of the exploration able to determine? Well, the the really exciting thing here is that it's just 400 meters along strike from, you know, that bonanza zone discovery that we made in 2020. So there's a lot of smoke. Um, you know, I don't like to use that term. It sounds promotional. But, the you know, the fact is, is these are underground mines. So if we're having this kind of success, you know, just 400 meters away from, uh, you know, where we had success in 2020, um, you know, it really opens up the entire project, you know, of course, that what we're trying to do is get to that a million ounce, you know, mine life of 10 years on the project. And, you know, we're on track. I mean, I guess that's, that's the macro level is we are on track. We have for, for February, we have, you know, two, uh, arguably it was called a beaver zone discovery, an ore shoot. The Arizona is definitely an ore shoot, open at depth. So drilling below 75 meters, a true depth at both these locations um, really puts us on track for our goal of uh, bringing a resource to market in the first half of next year. Um, and let's not discount, you know, the arrows or sorry, the Andrew zone, which is we actually sent some more samples in. So I think, you know, with, with a fair amount of confidence, I think we could say we've actually got uh, two new zone delineations, not just the Beaver, but the Andrew, which we'll be press releasing in the coming weeks. We've just got some, you know, initial results from that still, but, you know, that's really, that was a historical target as well. So, 
um, you know, we're having, having three, uh, you know, really good economic areas on the property is exciting. And people like resource world called us this morning and they're like, well, just how big is this thing? And, and, you know, I guess that's what we're looking to find out. <laughs> All right. Well, sir, please walk us through the tables on the drill results. You betcha. Yeah. So I'm just going to, you know, I just get people to go to the website for all the small incremental intervals, but I'm going to talk in terms of the longer intercepts. And so just to rattle some off here, I got to look at my list. Uh, we had six and a half meters of five grams per ton, six meters of two grams per ton, uh, six meters of 3.4 grams per ton and five meters of three grams per ton. And in that there was some super high grade intervals of let's just say 2.6 meters of eight grams per ton. So as we understand this, the higher grade part of this was closer down to that Bonanza Arizona. And we think that that extends southeast from Beaver down into Arrow, which would explain that because that's where the higher grade is. And so, you know, we're now that that Cabin Lake area is actually frozen, we have boots on the ground for the last week dragging the IP lines out over uh, over Cabin Lake. And um, that uh, that's going to open up, uh, hopefully, a very positive news release here for the IP results, as well as delineating uh, the Phase 3 February drilling in terms of targets for both Arrow and Beaver. So, you know, and of course, you know about the screamer results we had at, at the Arrow Zone. Just to recite one, like 32 meters of, you know, 14 grams per ton, but it doesn't stop there. There was 22 meters of 8 grams per ton, 22 meters of 6, 16 meters of 12 grams per ton. So, I mean, this is 400 meters away from Beaver, right? So, to say that the February drilling is going to be exciting is like a massive understatement, right? <laughs> well, speaking of the February drilling, you've already got 3D modeling uh, preparing you what are you able to provide us in reference to insights on phase three? Yeah, it's going to be right out over the lake following down dip. We have enough confidence at the Arizona to have modeled it. Um, and what we're trying to do is being able to model uh, just how, how far up the lake it goes. And that will, you know, like right now, for example, the, the next step out hole for where we know that it dips down is probably at 75 meters of true depth. But as it continues to dip it, and the angle it continues to dip, that's what the IP does out over the lake. And this is why historically it was never drilled is a, you know, the timing, the timeliness of needing to get the ice thick enough to get a drill out over there. They didn't do that historically. Plus, uh, the IP back in the 80s is not what it is today. So the confidence level of, of these targets is pretty high, um, which is really exciting. Switching gears, let's look at some numbers. Mr. Coulter, please provide us with the capital structure for Rover Metals. Yeah, we have 117 million shares outstanding, and that reflects 100% ownership of four gold projects. Um, and obviously we've been talking about cabin gold, but if you were to go 10 kilometers northwest, you know, along sort of this iron formation trend in the, in the regional area, we have our next project just 10 kilometers away. And we, we could talk a little bit about that, I think, in coming weeks, because we did send some samples in from Sleeman Gold, which is, you know, again, one of the four that we own. But again, just to the point of the cap structure, 117 million, but that's 100% of ownership in terms of all the deals we've done in the last three years to acquire these projects. In closing, what would you like to say to shareholders? I think this is a great time to be, you know, getting a position if you don't already have one or if you have one adding to it. Uh, Sprott just reported yesterday that the, uh, I guess the pressure on gold price uh, is coming off. You know, I think there was a lot of forecasts with what's going on in the world. Gold should have been at nineteen, two thousand dollar an ounce. I'll just let readers and and listeners of this interview go and read the Sprout article. But there really shouldn't be any roadblocks to gold price for twenty twenty two. So that's a fundamental for our business. Um, but also just the fact that uh, you know we've got you know such great targets like our twenty twenty is 
probably the best year for our company, subject to, of course, financing, which we are going to be doing uh, in February. Um, but that being said, um, you know, I think you know, the, the, the confidence level, we've got $3 million worth of data bringing us to this, this point in terms of the expiration work we've done. So what we're going to be bringing, um, you know, in February in, in terms of the short term, unfortunately, the market is very short term with day trading. But, you know, here's a chance. If you are a short term person, I think, uh, you know, 2022 is, is our year. Of course, I'm a long term holder. I believe really in the value of holding and selling to a producer, which is our exit strategy. So for me, that's what I'm waiting for. But um, I think anybody getting involved, uh, they can have some fun on the ride in 2022. Well, I'm with you every step of the way. As you know, I'm a long-term shareholder, and I, lo- I believe the value proposition is very compelling, and I'm looking to add to my position. Mr. Coulter, for someone listening that wants to get more information on Rover Metals, please share the website address. Yeah, it's uh, www.rovermetals.com. Mr. Coulter, it's always a pleasure to speak with you. Wishing you and Rover Metals the absolute best, sir. Thank you, Maurice. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.